you got up in the morning, didn't you? When you had some breakfast, and then a little while after you had your breakfast, you were really, really poorly and you were really sick. Mummy and Daddy discussed it, and we decided that we'd take you straight to A&E rather than to the doctors first. Initially, they were going to take you to Bristol Children's Hospital uh, by road, but because of the condition, the seriousness of your condition, they decided that they would take you by air ambulance. We were out for a club run. We, we ride classic bikes with the Exeter Classic Bike Club. And we're all old boys, you know, so we're not flying around like lunatics. And I remember stopping at Witherley and saying, where are we going to go next? And we couldn't make up my mind, so I said, let's go back to my place for coffee. I'll lead. And that's the fateful words. And the next thing I know, I wake up in, in the hospital. Uh, I had a motorcycle accident. Um, I hit a lorry. Uh, on the way home from Dawlish. Um, because of my injuries, uh, I needed an air ambulance because I needed specialist care and I needed to be airlifted to Plymouth. It's a very bad downhill left-hander, adverse camber, uh, with a big wet metal manhole cover on the apex of the bend. And apparently the front wheel washed out and we came off the bike. So on the 24th of July uh, last year, I had a, a motorbike accident uh, on the way to work. Um, where I needed urgent pickup to take me to Dareford Hospital. Well, I was at Rosemore and with my family, and um, we went to have a drink, and then a pot of hot water fell on my right leg. I was walking to work um, in the morning, and I pressed the button for a pedestrian crossing, and the red light came up, and I walked, and the driver went through the red light. And hit me. I punctured my spleen and I was bleeding out internally. Uh, so amongst other things, I had brain damage and various fractures and whatever. I was, I was going for it head on, but I quickly turned so I just hit the fuel tank. So I, I hit the fuel tank and then bounced into it, then bounced off. And I think when I bounced into it, it basically ripped my, my bottom half of my leg off. So I flew through the air, landed on the grass, uh, and I just saw my femur. So I knew my femur was shattered, basically. Um, so I didn't know exactly what was wrong. Yeah, so I was uh, driving along to work um, and then unfortunately my back wheel lost grip and ended up uh, losing control and going under an oncoming car. It saves people's lives and helps people recover. Uh, well, I think it's massive, uh, massively important. It's exceptionally important. They reach the most amazing places. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better service. We couldn't have asked for friendlier people. It's essential. You need the ambulance. You'd be absolutely lost for living. So it's essential, absolutely essential. I think it's absolutely, yeah, very, very important. Yeah, crucial. It's fantastic, especially as it's a charity. You know, personally, for, for me, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be standing here now. It is you know, sort of life or death, really, what they do.